Here on the Bethany College campus, right outside the Sweet Suites, is a location where a recent crime has taken place. Ron Atkinson, hair residential advisor, was the victim of these acts on the night of March the 9th. Ron, I have to ask, were you the first one who discovered the abuse that was done to your car? Um, walking, going ahead and walking up, waking up in the morning, I always walk past my car. Obviously, it's right there, first parking spot uh, between Ash and Gregory, and then I kind of walked past and was like, my tires look flat for whatever reason, and then uh, went and checked the other tires, and that's when I saw what was written in the car. Sure. If or if we were to find who was responsible for these acts that was done to your car, what disciplinary actions would you follow through with? Um, obviously, it's a weird situation because I feel a certain way professionally and feel a certain way personally. Um, I take everything like it's an educational opportunity. Um, obviously, there's some... You know, Bethany doesn't create racism in the one, two, three, four years that we sure. have students. Um, obviously, that's something that's in somebody's mind, whether subconsciously or, you know, whatever the case may be. I'd always, um, personally, always take one as the, uh, we can blame that one on being misinformed and miseducated. Uh, if something like that happens a second time, that's when sure. you can't blame that one on being misinformed or miseducated. Um, it's tough. I would actually remove myself from any type of disciplinary action because I'm too close to the situation, obviously, since it was something that was personal to me. Um, so in order to be fair to whatever student, if in the event that that person got caught, I would remove myself from whatever disciplinary action would take place. Sure. Due to this being the second time this type of incident has happened, do you feel it was an act of race? Um, I mean, just judging from what was put on there, I mean, you can't help but to associate some sort of racially motivated factor into it with it um i i really it's not for me to say um i mean we could sit here and debate all day and night about it um i i, I to take it for what it is and what the word was you have to at least consider that um but i mean i'm it really doesn't bother me it's, it's nothing but a word um and if that's the best somebody's got to kick me out or try to run me off, they're going to do a lot more than that. So um, I really don't don't take that. Um, what what happened was was the act of one person or a group of small people, the love that I've gotten after everything has proven to me that uh, all that's, you know, what happened to my car is really not a big deal at all. Sure. Uh, Thank you. Reporting live for Bethany News, Stephen Williams. Ms. Taylor. Knowing what happened to Ron's car, what type of investigation process is currently going on? Well, the investigation process has been determined by the president's office. Um, at this point, it's not really a student life driven investigation. Um, however, we're willing, you know, people have information about what happened. We're willing to hear those things. I've had um, students who have gone to RA staff members and made suggestions of who they think that it might be who has done this to Ron's car. Um, I've suggested that those people call Crime Stoppers. Um, because that's who basically is doing the investigation. The Lindsburg Police Department representatives, um, as well as the McPherson County Sheriff, has the information. Um, but really, as far as any time there are any violations of the conduct process, which this clearly is, um, Student Life does generally conduct the investigation, but just due to the nature of the situation, and that happened to a staff member, it's really handled at a higher level than just a normal um, student conduct investigation. I mean, we'll take whatever tips people have, sure. Um, pass that on to the authorities that need the information, but it's not really an investigation that we are undertaking at this time. Sure. We asked Ron what kind of disciplinary actions would he follow through with. He stated he would remove himself from the process due to it was a personal issue. Um, Ms. Tracy, you being a position of authority along with Ron, what disciplinary actions would you take? Well, I think that the key would be A, to find, I mean, first we have to find out, of course, who it is sure. and um, what their intentions were. I think it's very easy to say, oh, we're going to kick that person out of school, but I think, I really think that's sort of a knee-jerk and an emotional reaction. Mm -hmm. um, clearly, we're not going to stand for that kind of behavior. We don't want any, we don't want any kind of vandalism. We don't want it if it's of a racial nature or otherwise. Um, there's a cost to the institution regardless, whether it's a building or a car or, or violence toward a person. Um, I mean, there would definitely be sanctions. That's not an issue that I've ever had to deal with yet, so I don't necessarily... We take each case individually, and every case is to be educational in nature. Um, I would love to. Say, I mean, I would love to be able to say, if I knew who did this, I would kick them out of school. But I really don't necessarily think that that's always the right answer. 
um, there's more to the story almost always. Um, it could be one person, it could be five people, and I think those different facts that we don't know anything about change what the outcome might look like. You know, examples might be that they would have to produce a video like this where they talk about what what are the implications of what they've done. Or they could read a book and write a research paper about um, what different minorities have had to go through, whether it's black or Asian or women or homosexuals or something, so that they're educated about why it's not okay to write words like this or say or use words like this, especially in a way that feels, at least, without knowing the facts, retaliatory sure. in nature. Do you feel that this was an act of race? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how you can take race out of it um, with the word that was written on the car. Um, I don't know if it's racially motivated or not. I mean, until we know who did it, I think that would be very, very difficult to determine. I can't imagine, um, and of course I'm, spe I'm speaking from a position of having no way of knowing other than what I've heard from students and faculty and other staff members. Um, you know, I don't want to take an African American recruit by Ron's car as if that's something that we stand for here. Surely not. Um, I don't. I. I don't know if it's a racially motivated incident, but I think it's definitely a racially insensitive incident. Sure. Yeah, but do you feel that this was an act of racism? No, I just don't think a lot of people get along with Ron, and that's why it was done. Another question: As a white young lady on campus, how does this act make you feel? I think it's wrong. It took me a little too far with the N word, but um, it's not a good look. Here with Dwayne Autry. Dwayne, how do you feel about these acts that have happened to Ron's car? Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like it was a cowardly act. You know, it's just like a new for a human being to even commit such a hatred type of crime on any person, any race. So it's that Thank you. Um, our other question was, if this was your car, Dwayne, I know it's a funny question, what would you do? I mean, paying, like doing what I had to do to get my car, like this, it would really piss me off. And I would do whatever I had to do to find out who did it. I mean, I, don't, I can't honestly say what I would do to them, but I wouldn't appreciate it. I wouldn't appreciate it.